Are you pregnant and wondering whether a doula is worth the money? Or maybe you've never even heard of a doula or are not sure exactly what they do. In this video, I'm walking you through what a doula does, how doulas affect birth outcomes, and how to decide if a birth doula is right for you. Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm a doula, a birth photographer, and a childbirth educator in the greater Toronto area. And I'm extremely passionate about informed and empowered birth. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any tips, tricks, and advice to get the birth experience that you want. If you're watching this video, you probably already know what a doula is, but just in case, the official definition of a doula is a trained companion who is not a healthcare professional and who supports another individual, the doula's client, through a significant health-related experience such as childbirth, miscarriage, induced abortion or stillbirth, or non-reproductive experiences such as dying. This definition is actually from Wikipedia because the other definitions I found were extremely gendered and I like that this one in particular encompasses more than just birth and the postpartum because although birth and postpartum doulas are the most well-known type of doulas, there are doulas that are available for life events like death and pregnancy and infant loss as well. But a birth doula is what I'm focusing on in this video. And what we do is provide emotional, physical, and educational support for people during pregnancy and during labor. That can look like a myriad of different things, but some of the more common ones are providing evidence-based information and support during pregnancy, prepping you and your partner for the birth itself, helping prepare birth plans, um, supporting you physically during your birth and keeping you as comfortable as possible, helping with decision-making as things come up and supporting you after your birth with information and resources. The support that a doula provides is strictly non-medical, meaning that there are no blood pressure or cervical checks, and although we can provide information and guidance, we will not diagnose. Doulas do not replace a healthcare provider like an obstetrician or a midwife. Now, studies have been done that have shown that having a continuous support person at a birth can positively affect birth outcomes. When researchers combined the results of trials that included over 15,000 people, it was found that there was a 31% decrease in the use of Pitocin, a 25% decrease in the risk of cesarean section, an 8% increase in spontaneous vaginal birth, a 14% decrease in the need for the NICU, a 10% decrease in the use of medication for pain relief, shorter labors by on average 41 minutes, and a 31% decrease in the risk of dissatisfaction of the overall birth experience. It's interesting to note that there was a difference noted between the continuous support from a doula or a trained birth professional and the continuous support from another support person like a family member, even if both were offering similar types of support to the birthing person. And yes, I realize I said support about 10 times in two seconds, but bear with me. Remember the statistics I just went through, right? When supported by a doula specifically, the risk of cesarean decreased by 39% from 25%, and the likelihood of a vaginal birth increased from 8% to 15%. So how do you decide whether to hire a doula or use a family member or friend as your continuous birth support? Well, for sure it's evident that having continuous support of any kind improves birth outcomes, but the benefit you get with a doula specifically is not just with the decrease of your risk of cesarean and the increased likelihood of spontaneous vaginal birth. When you hire someone who is trained in birth and who knows birth, you also get all of the wisdom that that person has, as well as an extensive network of resources that you can tap into. I like to think of doulas as walking encyclopedias of birth knowledge. We generally are birth nerds. We love birth. We love everything about birth, and we really dedicate our lives 
to helping families get the best birth experience that they can possibly have. Having said that, the number one thing I tell people to think of when they're looking at hiring a doula is whether or not you jive with that doula because above all else, if you're not comfortable with that doula in your birth space, it will only hinder your birth. So there you go. Let me know in the comments below if you're thinking of hiring a doula or if you had a doula if you've already given birth. And of course, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about doulas. Don't forget to grab your free printable birth affirmations from the link in the description so you can get into a great headspace before your birth. And these can also be used around your birth space as reminders that you've got this. If you want to know more about doulas or doula trips, tips and tricks, make sure that you subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button and share with anyone in your life who is pregnant or a new parent. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.